live from Cambridge, Massachusetts, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Q, covering the MIT Chief Data Officer and Information Quality Symposium. Now your host, Dave Vellante. Welcome back to Cambridge, Massachusetts, everybody. I'm Dave Vellante, and this is the Cube SiliconANGLE Wikibon's continuous coverage of MIT IQ. MIT IQ stands for the Information Quality Symposium. It's become the Chief Data Officer Symposium. It's my pleasure to have Flavio Perez and Ma Mario Servi, who are with Keybrus. Flavio is the President and CEO. Mario is the Project Director and Assessor. Gentlemen, welcome to the Cube. Good to see you. Thank you. So, Keybrus, a very interesting initiative. We were talking off camera about it. Flavio, maybe you could tell us about Keybrus. What is it and why was it formed? Yeah, we have founded it in 2010 with the support of Professor Richard and with the mission of uh, disseminating the culture of data quality and data management in Brazil. Since then, we had f four international conferences and many courses of IQ and data management there. So the, the initiative was formed to try to create awareness about data quality and promote that notion of data quality. What was the relationship, Mario, with, with MIT? Uh, uh, Rich Wang helped get you started? Yeah, uh, we, we started to work with data problems in the, uh, in the beginning of the 90s. And then in the beginning of 2000 years, we knew the, prob the, the IQ program here. And uh, we started to, to come from 2003 uh, to attend conferences, courses, and uh, Professor Wang encouraged us to create an IQ uh, association in Brazil to promote the culture there, and we did it in 2000 then. But uh, we are here in every conference and uh, almost every year since 2003. So uh, it's important to bring the ideas, the new concepts, the state of the art and data management to our region. Yeah. So how did you fund the initiative? How, how, do, you, how do you pay for it? <laughs> yeah, it's really, uh, we were with Professor Richard and he said, we must create, we must disseminate this culture in Brazil. It's interesting for the United States and in very interesting. Uh, we said it's very interesting to Brazil too. So we start to, to talk about and we created the, the mm. foundation. With the support of many companies in Brazil, With we have the, the participation. Most of uh, people that participate in Kibras is from the industry. Uh, you have few people from the university, few people from the government. Uh, but uh, almost all the companies uh, are from uh, so private big, initiative. So big financial services presence, obviously. Yes, financial services, well. uh, uh, direct marketing, and uh, strategic marketing, uh, consultants also, uh, media agencies, and uh, we have a good support there from those companies. And so what kind of activities do you, and services, do you sort of provide the community? Maybe you could talk about that uh, a little we bit. We offer uh, data management courses, training, and uh, annual conferences, and we always uh, bring at least four international speakers, mostly from USA. Uh, Professor Wang has been in three of our four conferences, Professor Yang Li, Professor Talbot, oh. hey, they have already been there. So, uh, and we have also uh, local speakers uh, talking about cases, local cases, uh, in this field of data quality and data management. Now, how did you guys get into and this? Oh, ahead, in please. our conference, we had, in average, 300 uh, attendees. So, good size. I mean, it's, yes. it's comparable to this event. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, now, are you data guys? How, how did yes, you get involved we, in this? We, 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 we are, are from IT. IT. Uh -huh. uh, we, our background is in computer science, and, and now we, we discovered data as, uh, 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 as a, now is a passion, you know, uh, to work with data to support business. Uh, we are more working more with business people than IT people. What about the chief data officer role? In, in Brazil, we've met Mario. He's been on the Cube. He was the first yes. CDO mm -hmm. in Mario in Faria. Yes. Yeah. he was yes. the first yes. CDO. Uh, 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 the around the mid 2000 uh, companies there start to create the 
customer data departments. Then it became the, the, these areas became the CDO, and the, the Mario Faria was the first one, but we already have another 40, around 30 or 40 companies with CDOs so far. So obviously the companies in your region are receptive to this idea, they, they're supporting your mm -hmm. initiative. What are the big challenges that they're facing and how are you helping them through that? Uh, well, we, we have the, the, the challenges that are quite similar what what we hear, but uh, our market is not so mature, but we face the same type of problems. Uh, we have the, the problem of data ownership, uh, we have a conflict with IT and uh, other C's in the, the companies, you know. Uh, but people are there is getting aware of the importance of managing data uh, outside of the IT sphere. Mm -hmm. So we are going on, we are progressing. I so believe. what are some of the things that, that you're uh, excited about, working on, you know, upcoming initiatives? What are the things that you want to accomplish, Fabio, for your organization? <laughs> We uh, uh, the objective is to to spread the culture to yeah. to gather more companies discussing the subjects of data management mm -hmm. and to 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 give in our region the status data management has mm -hmm. together so we are trying to bring uh, uh, as many companies as we can to our society to discuss data management issues so keep growing and how many how many organizations are involved in Kubras today uh, around those 300 attendees represent around uh, 50 55 companies mostly of them based in Sao Paulo but from all over the country other companies too and you were saying before, Mario, that the challenges are the same, the issues are, the, uh, are similar. Yeah. Uh, what are yeah. the differences? Uh, I think that uh, our market is not so mature in data management as the market here in the USA. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we have uh, steps to go ahead, uh, but we are, uh, I think that if we follow the concepts and the discussions here, we can bring ideas there and get this maturity uh, uh, a little bit faster. Mm. We, we have, our culture is in the beginning yet, and the way we are doing, we are doing now is to have uh, an approach to a big associations like the MA in Brazil, they have a very big association to to do together an approach to the companies. Mm. And so Did you know the MA, MA direct marketing association. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, yeah. We have a chapter there and, and they are helping us to, to spread the culture okay. among their associates. So there's a lot of talk at this event and others about sort of da data as a liability, data as an asset, yeah. you know, and yeah. that, that conversation seems to be leaning more these days toward, you know, marketing and yeah. data as an asset. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Hammerbacher <laughs> from Facebook, a very famous, uh, he was one of the cloud era saying that he's young, brilliant mind. He said the best minds of my generation are spending their time trying to figure out how to get people to click on Google ads. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But of course we see a lot of examples around here, particularly in healthcare, government, um, financial services with fraud. What do you see in terms of the sentiment within your you know, constituents in terms of how they view the opportunity versus the liability? What is data to them? Is data a problem that has to be managed? Is it an opportunity that can be mined? No, I think it, it's uh, each time more seen yeah. as uh, an opportunity uh, to support decisions, to support uh, customer relationship. Uh, to support MDM initiatives, you know, uh, mostly focused in customer. Okay, so I think that th there is room for growing. How do sale. people? How do people measure the value uh, of data? Uh, it's hard. Normally they don't. Normally they don't. Right. That's that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, it is too uncertain how to to measure value, to how how to uh, calculate ROA, uh, ROI. So uh, we are beginning discussions on this area. It's still in because there's certainly a desire to do that. Right? Oh, it's just yes, not a yeah. uh, not a standardized way of doing mm -hmm. it, maybe or yeah. an accepted way, maybe. Yes. Um, 
at least to yeah. justify the, 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 the projects. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of it's still done on gut feel, is that right? Or yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good. Yeah. All right. Um, any final thoughts on this conference? Um, well, uh, the conference is getting yeah. every year better, and uh, we are very uh, uh, pleased to come here every year to see people talking uh, and to see the yeah, progress yeah. of data culture and data management area. So it's very nice to be here. Very nice to be here, and I'd like to thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Flavio, yeah. Mario, thanks for coming yeah. to theCUBE. It's Thank great you. to meet you both. Thank you. All right, keep right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. Right after this, this is theCUBE. We're live from MIT in Cambridge, Mass. We'll be right back.